Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Piff, the Magic Dragon playing cards from Chris Chelko and Claire Blackledge. All right, so if you didn't watch America's Got Talent last year or you've just been living under a rock and you don't know who Piff the Magic Dragon is, uh, Piff the Magic Dragon is the world's only magic dragon. How else do I, how else do I say that? Uh, he appears on TV all the time. He's the magician wearing the green dragon costume and holding his lovely assistant, Mr. Piffles. Piff the Magic Dragon is actually uh, John Vanderput. Uh, and you go out to any magic website and kind of search John's name, you're gonna find a lot of his uh, just incredible card magic that he has released in the past. Um, VDP stands out the most. Uh, VDP is actually the trick that he has done on television. Uh, it's that great uh, torn and restored uh, signature trick that you've seen him do. Go out, go to the magic store, buy VDP. You won't be uh, let down. Or buy out of the routine, or buy card tricks for money. Uh, some of the stuff that John's put out is just great magic. Don't write him off just because he's a guy in a dragon costume. John is also a very well-established card magician. These cards here, they were produced by Chris Chelko. You remember Chris Chelko um, did the Whispering Imps campaign. Um, all of these cards were hand illustrated by a lady out in the United Kingdom named Claire Blackledge. You can visit her at claireblackledge.co.uk. These cards were printed from the Expert Playing Card Company and the tuck case is uh, all die cut. And this tuck case was actually the bane of Chris Chelko's existence. He worked on this so long to make sure that that you had a little tacular. It's uh, Piff the Magic Dragon suitcase that he carries around. And the tuck case is made to look exactly like that. So all the artwork on this is done just like Piff's suitcase. The other interesting thing is these little die cut cards that you get with the deck. So you're gonna get three of these. They come flat like this, but then there's the little um, die cut that you see there. And what you do is you unfold it into this little origami thing and you slide it underneath the tuck case. I'll show you here in a picture what it looks like. And so then you're able to set up the little tacular um, with the stand underneath and the decks on top. Now, I haven't been able to make it strong enough to where the deck stays in the box. I've always had to take the cards out of the box to make it light enough to stand up on the on the stand, but I don't know, maybe some of you are better at origami than me. The tuck case also has a top uh, loading lid there with all the cards uh, fitting in there. And you get more cards than you do. There's more cards than just an average deck. So this tuck case had to be made extra large to hold the extra cards. The back design is done in green and white, and it is a mirrored image. The back design represents um, Piff's future castle that he will live in one day. It's the perfect place for a magic dragon just to get away from it all, and although for now, this is as close as he's gonna get. Like I said, these cards were hand illustrated, so everything has been completely redesigned, including the pips and indices, and so you don't have spades, you have balls of fire, you don't have hearts, you have little um, clusters of roses that you would give to your princess, you don't have clubs, you have puppy paws, so that would be Mr. Piffles, and then uh, diamonds, well, you have diamonds, but these are the diamonds that you would see on Piff the Magic Dragon's costume. Also with this deck, you're gonna get two original jokers. It's Mr. Piffles as a knight on the back of a horse, and on one of them, the helmet is lifted up and he has a card reveal. Also, if you've watched Piff the Magic Dragon's performances, you know he's famous for pulling out a sandwich and eating it. Um, and so you're gonna get your sandwich cards. You're gonna get bread, ham, uh, Swiss cheese, and then another slice of bread that has, uh, I think, butter on one side. Does Piff like butter? I don't know. Of course, that means all the court cards had to have been redone as well. And so all the kings are Piff the Magic Dragon, all the queens, are princesses, and all the jacks are Mr. Piffles. You're also gonna get a couple of gaff cards, um, one of which is Mr. Piffles going into a cannon, and then uh, the cannon exploding, and then the last card is your reveal card. It's Mr. Piffles um, slammed through your force card. And so what you would do is you would obviously force a card on someone and then lose it in the deck, pull out your two jokers, which would be the, your cannon cards. Maybe you would do some sort of top change where you'd make the cannon fire, and then you would go back through the deck and find uh, the card with Mr. Piffle's face on it, turn it over and see that he found your card. All right, so that is my review for the Piff the Magic Dragon playing cards from Expert Playing Cards and Chris Chelko. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you wanna follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks, bye.